Hey Sagittarius, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. So let's get started with a Sacred Seat Oracle. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius? And we have the Sea Goddess of Self Mastery Embodiment. So I feel like this is really getting to know yourself and being able to master those things like emotions and manifestations and um, your physical body. So let's see what the book says. Number 23. Okay. So it's talking about trust yourself. You're ready. No more dress rehearsals. It's showtime. Embody who you came here to be. Be unapologetically your divine self. The world needs to see and feel you fully expressed. Celebrate who you have become. It is time to remember, acknowledge, and celebrate your innate royalty, your masterful, masterful majesty within. This energy remains usually dormant, and this card is a sign that you are ready to awaken to your true self-mastery. Be bold and authentic to your soul essence, as it is above all else the most precious attribute you can possess and utilize to your advantage as you powerfully manifest your creative visions on earth. Allowing celebratory acknowledgement will activate the truest embodiment. And when you fully trust that you've got this and you are doing what you came here to do and be and share with the world, you will be free. So this is absolutely everything that we were talking about already is that this is you really coming into your life purpose about really showing the world being bold and authentic to your soul and I feel like it's showtime right it is showtime so um celebrate who you have become and I think that's probably what this reading is going to be called unless other cards come out to change that but um let's see what else we have what else do we have for Sagittarius Looking at the underbelly, be sure that you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you are working on could use some fine tuning. So I feel like there is some type of creative project that's going to facilitate this, you know, like showing the world what you have um, and really celebrating yourself. What else do we have for Sagittarius? And we have gentleness. I feel like this is talking about being gentle with yourself. And it's not um, forcing anything that isn't ready. Um, but I feel like this is also trusting yourself. Trusting your inner self so that you can um, be authentic in whatever it is. In your creative projects. In your relationships. In what you're trying to manifest. So let's see what else comes out. What do we have for the recent past energy for Sagittarius? And we have the chariot. Yeah, this is like going full force. Archangel Metatron, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower and public recognition. So another, you know, self-discipline. I feel like there's self-mastery, there's self-discipline. There's a lot of talking about yourself. And so I think that that's what it comes down to is, is celebrating yourself. What is the current energy for Sagittarius? And we have the High Priestess, Archangel Haniel. Listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. And I feel like that's where this gentleness comes in and looking at the underbelly. This is like looking at the true essence of what you are trying to um, accomplish here. So I'm definitely getting like, you know, there could be, you could be um, starting a business, something, you know, spiritual. The chariot and the high priestess together is definitely some kind of spiritual um, endeavor that is going to carry you to victory. So what is the challenge here? And we have the magician, like all uh, major arcana so far. This 
is the challenge. This is believing in yourself. Archangel Raziel, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So I feel like there is a, sorry, there's a fly that just keeps trying to land on my arm. <laughs> um, so I feel like this is you recognizing how powerful and magical you really are. This is why it's in the challenge position. So I feel like that's, it's just a matter of really looking at, um, really looking at yourself and seeing yourself through divine eyes because you have everything you need to move forward. What is the advice from spirit here? And we have the five of air, an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. So I feel like this five of air is going on within, within you. This is you being in fear that you're going to mess up or make yourself look stupid or whatever it is. But spirit is saying, no, you have everything you need. You are the real deal. You just have to show that real. Don't be afraid to show that real side of yourself. What's the outcome here? And we have the two of fire. Yeah, you've come into your own. New partnerships or contacts continue to move forward. So I feel like, you know, the two of fire for me is about recognizing the choice that you have to go through your life, per go towards the path that is your life purpose. You're at a crossroads right now. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower Life Experience, Archangel Samuel. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. And I don't know how much more um, the divine can intervene to tell you that it's time to spread your wings. Because everything here has been saying that. So let's go ahead and clarify. So you have four major arcana here. This is amazing. So what is the chariot? What's that about? Show me the chariot. And we have the eight of pentacles. So I definitely see this as with this high priestess here and the chariot, I see this as some type of work or business that you're doing that involves your spiritual gifts. What is this high priestess? It could be a tarot channel. It could be, you know, um, you know, like having some kind of selling products, whatever it is, you know, it's different for each person, but there's definitely something could be Reiki. I'm, I'm, I'm getting something that uses your hands. Okay. This fly is really trying to get our attention. <laughs> so you may want to look up the spiritual meaning of fly because it just came from nowhere. All right. What is this high priestess about? And we have the Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana. So yeah, I feel like this is the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune is really talking about coming into that timing, that timing. And we also have timing here with the Tower. It's like divine intervention, divine timing. So I feel like this is what's going to carry you um, to new heights. Show me that magician as the challenge. And we have the lovers. Wow. I mean, just all this major arcana. It's just amazing. So this is about that choice. This is about seeing in yourself the magic. Look at this depiction of the lovers. This is a choice. The lovers um, in older decks used to be the choice, not the lovers. But this is connecting with your true self and the magical self within. All right. Show me that five of air. And we have the Five of Swords clarifying the Five of Swords. So there's definitely this internal conflict and worrying about what other people think. And I feel like it's, um, you know, there's a fear of not being accepted for who you really are. And this is spirit saying all over the place that you are the real deal. This is time for you to shine. Show me that Two of Fire. And we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's something that's pointing you in a clear direction. And it's um, it's like, um, I feel like the tower comes in if you're not going to follow that. The, the divine will come in and create a, um, 
a way that this is the only way, you know? And so I feel like um, there's definitely uh, the divine really trying to get your attention to be authentic, your authentic self, because that is what is your life purpose. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the six of cups. And in this instance, I feel like this is saying, don't take things too seriously, find the joy in things and understand that there is, um, I'm getting here that this is like, there is, even if you're not accepted by certain groups, or certain people, there are others that definitely could find your gifts a gift to them as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get some guidance here. What guidance? What guidance do we have for Sagittarius? And we have this one here, opportunity. You will prove yourself and discover if you brave the rough seas. Yes, you will prove yourself. Don't worry about that. You are, as long as you're authentic to yourself, you will prove yourself to yourself. Because that's the one that you need to please. Turbulence. The mind is murky in rough water. So this is your own mind is the only thing that is stopping you from moving forward. And let's get one more. And we have self-care, another self word. Um, drowning doesn't always require water. So being mindful, self-care, this is all about the self. This whole reading is about the self and celebrating you. All right, those are the messages that came through for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.